Okay, so in this video, we're going to very briefly go over how to um, download, install, download and install um, Tableau Reader, uh, primarily because the um, visuals that I'll be sending you will be um, a Tableau story. So this is just a quick how-to on um, how to download it and, and what to do with that story. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this website right here. Um, you can get there by Googling Tableau Reader or you can simply type in this URL. So tableau.com slash products slash reader. So we hit download now and then you'll see that it automatically pops up. Um, based on whatever operating system you're using, you'll pick the appropriate one. Um, the default is Windows. Um, you can also download it for Mac. Um, I have already installed Tableau on my laptop, um, and it was about a 10 minute process. So we're not gonna walk through the actual installation of it. However, once you um, hit install, so once you click here and then you hit save, um, Tableau will pop up, Tableau Reader will pop up and you'll hit install and then it will do just that. Then you will double click on the Tableau Reader icon, which looks like this. Um, it'll ask you to register. You'll just put in your name, your organization, um, your location, and then you shouldn't have any issues being able to log in. Now for the document that I sent you, what you'll be doing is you'll hit browse for file and then you will open um, the story wherever you have saved it. Um, but for right now, we'll just very briefly go through how to work a Tableau story uh, since it might not be the most intuitive thing. So we're just going to click on one of these sample uh, stories. So let's see, it's loading. So as you can see, we've got a nifty little sheet here that has quite a bit of information. Um, it has a title, executive overview, profitability, profitability all. Um, we've got a heat map. We've got um, a bunch of different graphs down here. Um, you can download it, you can make it full screen. Um, so yeah, here on the side we have filters. So let's say that you're not really interested in seeing um, the profitability for the entire United States. Um, you only want a certain region, so let's just say the southern region and click South and only the information for the South is displayed. Um, you can also filter it by, um, let's see if we can scoot over, um, apparently we cannot, that's all right. Oh, there we go. So let's say we're interested only in orders um, after the 1st of January. So we can slide this down. Let's say we're interested in um, looking at close to mid-August. So it's still filtered by region, and now we can furthermore um, filter it by the order date. Um, we can do the same thing here, changing the profit ratio. Um, let's see, and it looks like these are just legends. So there you go, just kind of denoting um, what these various colors mean. You can also see that when our heat map changed, these down here changed as well. Um, so when we had all of this, um, the graphs looked slightly different. When we had all regions in here, the graphs looked even more different. So that's a little bit about how to work this page. Um, and you can see that 
there are a bunch of other tabs up here. So these are going to be the tabs within our story. So we can click on product and see the story that's being told on this page. So we've got the product drill down, um, sales by product category. So we can hover over these and see um, what the category is, when the sale was made, how much the sale was for, and what the profit was on that. Again, we've got filters over here. Um, let's see here. Reset. That probably just, if we had changed the filters on here, that would bring it back to its default. So that's what this is. So we can click through all of these pages um, and look at the stories on these various dashboards. So that is how we view um, stories using Tableau Reader.